Hi, this is Mike from Traveling with Mike and Pam. Uh, travel tips number number eight. I'm doing two today because there's another thing that I like doing when we're on trips, and that's one of the things is I always take photos of famous people's graves if we're in the uh, general area. Now, that could be classified as a lot of things. I, I have, and I categorize them, I have seven books, folders, but I put them in. I have, I like this one, Presidents of the United States, and what I've done here is I have a page for each president with information below. This happens to be George Washington. I put George Washington, first president, uh, the years he was president, and some things you can remind what it, he was, you know, the commander-in-chief of the Continental Army. And I've ha I think so far I've only gotten eight. But I have I have a, a one for all these presidents, even the ones that are still alive, in case when they do die, I have it ready. I always have their name, you know, what number of presidents they are, the years they were president, the state they're from, and maybe one or two things why there's what made what defined their presidency. And so, and President Obama was the last one, so I have him down here. It's probably going to be a long time before he dies because he's still a young guy. You know, so I have him there, you know, this year, 2009 to 17 from Illinois. What uh, one thing about him is first African American to become president. You know, so he stepped in office already breaking a barrier. And Obamacare, same-sex marriage, just things like that. So when he does pass on, he's probably going to be buried in Illinois. Who knows? You know, Mornington. But next time I go, I could, I could check him out. So now George Herbert Walker Bush has died. Got it for him. Last person, the newest president, the youngest, has been Ronald Reagan. He's easy because he's in California. I live in Washington State. And... Got you know, so I have eight of them so far. But I've seen the YouTube of a of a man and a, his wife or his family. They've been to all of them, and you know that's not something like doing that thing. But now that we're thinking about going to a, uh, maybe the indu induction of Edgar Martinez into the Hall of Fame, which is a Mariner. We're Mariner fans, and we're going to stop in Boston. Last time I was in Boston, I could have got two presents, the two, the two Adams. Didn't do it. But next time when you do go to Boston, I can knock out two presents right there. And we want to go to the New England states. We know we have a little map for all the states we're going to. And the New England states, like Vermont and New Hampshire, there's two presents there. So I can knock those two out. So it's just one of those fun things to do when you're traveling. And then I, uh, another one I would do is Medal of Honors. I have over 60 of them in this one. That's the one I have the most of. I have uh, uh, people in general, uh, military actors, all that stuff. If you're going to California, the cemetery is full of actors, uh, whether it be uh, star A, B star, or just TV stars, or character actors you see all the time, but you can't remember their names, but they're all over the place in California. You can score somebody in one day. You could go to a cemetery, pick up six, seven, eight actors right there in each cemetery. That's how you see. So there you have it. You have taking photos of famous people, and always include yourself in the picture. If you have someone with you, have them take a picture of you in the, in the photo or someone in the photo at the same time. It's fun to do that, to take pictures. And that's the closest I ever get to meet some of these people like John Wayne, and Cecil B. DeMille, and, you know, all those famous people. Because they're dead and they're old. They've been, a lot of them dead before I was born, but they're famous. Ten Commandments and stuff like that. Was there laws that directed that and all that? So it's fun to do that. Thanks for watching.